YouTube and I'm here on Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia on a rainy, miserable day. So what better place to be in the art room? Got all these different beads, chains, and I'm thinking I'm going to actually do a pour and a swipe and I'm actually going to use dry chains, meaning I'm not gonna put color on the actual chain. I'm gonna try it, so there you go. That's what we're doing today. I've got this lovely 30 by 40 canvas. It's a gallery wrapped canvas, a nice a deep edge. And I've put my um, masking tape on the bottom, so to keep your bottom clean nicely. Um, so when you're all dry and finished, you can take that off and you haven't got a dirty bottom. So those lovely colour beads, not that the beads are going to make any difference, the colours, but I'm hoping that um, we get some nice results today. So let's get on with this particular pour. Um, I was going to put some maybe white under the base, but I don't think I'll particularly need it. So what I might do is just go around with white on my edges. I'm not going to take the white down the side at the moment. Let's see what we get. But I'm just putting the white on the edges. You don't have to do this. I just want to put a base, a bit of a base coat. All of my canvases, when I purchase them, come uh, pre gessoed, meaning they're triple coated. So I don't have to put anything on them. In fact, I could leave uh, just paint straight over those edges exactly as they are. There's nothing um, that I need to do. So if you do need to coat, you buy canvases that need coating, then you need the product called Gesso. And it just gives um, a nice uh, base coat for you to work on. So there you go. I'm not doing anything special with that. And I'm going to, let's give this go on. When I use these little paper cups, they get stuck in, if they've got a little bit of paint down the side, they get stuck in my holder. So I'm literally going to use the paint up and wheel over this canvas. And use all my bits and bobs up. Hope I get a nice piece. I'm trying to get a collection to hang in my new art studio. So um, when I bring you guys up to have a look, you can see a little bit of the collection of my artwork. But most of it is all gone. It doesn't uh, last long, thankfully. So that was the bright yellow and this is the bright red. You can, it's either, you know, a colour that might be called cardamom, um, cardamine, I think, or cool red and that's them now this is a really out there fluoro orange look at that that is a really poppy socks color so remember all these um, paints that I'm using in acrylic pouring they're not just acrylic paint it's what I'm using is is global impasto paint but it's mixed with a pouring medium. I get lots of people that are beginners and that don't actually realise that the paint's mixed with a pouring medium to make it flow. So there's a recipe in the drop down box underneath this video and also um, on my main YouTube channel there are um, videos for beginners. So it's all there for you guys if you want to learn and you don't already know what to do. This is um, a colour I call Berry Delicious. I make it myself out of the very deep red, phthalo blue, which is a dark blue, and a little blob of black. Obviously, if you want it to go really dark cherry red, uh, uh, yeah, black cherry, you would add more of the black. This looks black in here, but you'll see when it, um, it, it's not actually black. And I'm going to pour some gold in here because I know the metallic gold will run through the whole lot basically and give it that all amazing shimmer. 
So it looks like a crazy piece of art and there is lots of very famous artists that actually do this process and leave their art like this. And um, it sells for lots of money. <laughs> so it's everybody to their own. We're going to put a little bit of the beautiful sparkling um, turquoise. This has got a bit of the, uh, the um, dragonfly glaze, which is just kind of makes it really sparkly. So I'm really going to town on this. So I'm hoping my plan works out. If not, you just skip to plan B and just try whatever your creative juices tell you to go. Just try not to do too much. Um, keeping, I, I like to keep my paints a bit thicker because I think that it helps them from colours that probably should go muddy together, don't go muddy, if you keep the paint a little bit thicker and you don't swipe it around too much. So look at those gorgeous colours on there. Now I am going to do just this very gentle tilt, so don't stress or panic over it, just take it nice and easy. And it's just tilting the paints all over your canvas and they're rolling over each other rather than mixing with each other, hopefully not causing mud. So it's just a really nice gentle process, so enjoy this process, don't get stressed, it's only paint. Remember your art room, your rules, your way. So just take it nice and easy. So I'm going to try to make sure my whole canvas is kind of stretched out with the lovely colours there. You're not losing too much paint. I know I've had, as you do when you're an, um, any YouTuber, you get criticism and with acrylic pouring it's often, oh, all that wasted paint. But it's mostly, it is pouring medium if you actually take the time to find out the recipe of what goes into this. And I make my own pouring medium that's very um, economical. So it is not an expensive, expensive thing to do. And you can scrape up, you can pour with a silicon mat underneath that catches all your runoff and um, turn that around, catches all the runoff and you can um, use that for skins, allowing them to dry and using the acrylic skins in making jewellery. So that is just exactly how I want to. I'm just grabbing a cloth very quickly. Always forget to do that. It's just my thing. I'm old, I'm old. Okie doke, radio. that is gorgeous. So what I'm going to try and do with this now is I'm going to do a swipe through it. So I'm gonna start at this end. This is, uh, it's kind of a, an, a burnt umber, which is brown and I've added a good chunk of black. So it's a very black, brown type thing. I've done this quite thick because I do want a, a darker end. Excuse <coughs> <coughs> my voice. Right here. I'm going to try some swipes in this but just the, um, it, this is just a soft plastic file divider that you will find from any office stores or you might even have one in the house. So. I'm going to do some just gentle swipes through this again, taking the time, just taking your time and relaxing and enjoying the process. So you're thinking, what the heck is she doing? She's turned it all black. So I'm really hoping that those chain pulls are going to pull a lot of that colour back through, which we will see. Because lots of people do chain pulls, adding colour to the chains. Well, they're not going to do that. Uh, that's fine that I've missed a bit. You can either just go over that, but I'm going to leave it. So just pulling this through nice and slowly. So enjoy the process. This is why art is a definite, a definite therapy for anyone. Even if you feel you don't need therapy, 
it's quite relaxing. It can be frustrating, but just submit to it and literally go with the flow. I know it's gone dark, but please bear with me. Hang on till you see the end results before you make any <laughs> assumptions that it's not going to work. Radio nearly there. Beautiful. You watch this hopefully come to life. Dolly's at the he's screaming. Rightio, let's put some heat on this, which I'm going to use my heat wand. I use a heat wand, you'll see a lot of acrylic artists use butane torch. I just think this is so much safer. And it does exactly the same thing. Come on, you little beauties, pop up. See the little champagne cells popping up. They will come up. Radio. Let's give this a go with the chains, hey? Right, so it's what I call dry chain pulling. So you're using your chain dry and you're literally wiggling your chain. I hope this works. Like I said, it's an experimento. So we'll lay the chains on there, I guess. Probably up and do that. Here we go. I'm going to try this big chunky beads. See if this makes a different result. Hopefully, it should pull all those lovely colours through. So I might put the big chunky bead. See if it gives any different result than the. I just like to keep pulling the chain in one spot here. Oh yeah, look at it, it's pulling those colours through. It might be even beneficial to leave your colours to dry off and absorb into the canvas for a while. So see, that's why having the dark background now makes them pop. I'm going to put my chain straight into a bowl of water so it, it'll wash uh, wipe that paint off that's gorgeous that's absolutely gorgeous let's go for the second one i think it might really be beneficial to let the paint dry a little bit further into the camera so maybe we might leave it but now i'm excited so i want to keep on going that's gorgeous it is really lovely those colours will develop further. So I'm going to keep plodding on. We'll try this other chunky, chunky chain. Okay, this one's, is this going to work with, oh, better not. I like to have them. Oh, they're all, um, oh, maybe, maybe we just try this, so. Ooh. I think, I think, I think it will be very beneficial to actually leave. I keep saying it, but I'm not doing it, but I will. Yeah, that normal that look I would normally use a balloon to do that but 
we're going the chain today so just seeing if what works you can do loads of effects through there that's beautiful I love it really happy with that happy Jen happy Jen let's try this little one let's see if we can get real pulling all those lovely colours that are under there up and through beautiful Definitely use your chain as a really uh, beneficial tool for sure. There you go, that's beautiful. Really love. Oh, that was my balloon. Oh, it frightened me. I mean, chopped out of my skin. <laughs> Never mind. I've got this one that I've got a bit of water in. I'm going to just put some little um, floral embellishments along the bottom to bring the colour through that black and it's gorgeous. The metallics that are in there that I put in are just coming, you know, the balloon is bringing them through as did the chain. Well, do a little bit of fireworks in the sky why not because that's what effect you can get look at that give it a go people it's enjoyable it makes a nice little piece of DIY art perfect for gifts I think that's that's enough I know I go too busy but I'm just giving you all the oh my goodness just look at this at the shimmer and the effect in there. Now I'm getting a bit of glare off my lights. It's pulled all of those colours through and then you've got those lovely little champagne cells with the colours are popping through and they will further develop as the whole piece dries. But I am super duper happy with, look at this one, super duper happy with this. Look at these. It's a little, there's the embellishments along the bottom, the dark area, pulling all the colours back through that's, that's under there. You could work it and, you know, continue pulling a lot more of the colours through if you so choose. But it's nice to have a bit of the black. It makes the whole thing pop. So I'm super duper happy with that. Hope that you enjoyed that. Um, give you some food for thought and something to give yourself a little project and have a try of the dry chain pulls as I call it. Okie doke my lovelies thanks so much for joining me and I will be here again tomorrow so um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel follow along and um, all the info that you'll need is underneath in the drop down box. Bye for now.